Hey guys, we're gonna make a new colony today. We're gonna call it Colony Beta. We're using a couple of mods. I'm gonna have them down in the description. Uh, I'm liking. So I want to kind of role play this this run. I wanted to. I want to start on Naked Brutality. Maybe uh, do Cassandra with Blood and Blood and Dust. And uh, we're gonna do the Stone Cutters Union as our as our seed. Global coverage is 100 percent. Plant sizes. Tiny. A little bit above tiny. Okay. We've got our world. And by the looks of it, we care about the yellow, purple, and the uh, friendly guy. The pillar. So, I kind of like... I kind of want to be on a map with a uh, big... Like a mountainous map. Due to the... Hold on. Due to the, the stone. Because we're gonna... What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a character whose sole purpose is to make really cool art and sell it to people. And we were kind of messing with this on stream. I thought it'd be kind of cool. So in order to get, in order to, to fully handle that, oh, well there it is. Slow learner is a little annoying, but uh, no, I think this is a great start. Um, it's a good character. Uh, we're a little low on shooting, and plants and electoral are pretty low, but other than that, I think this is an okay spot. So let's uh, dive right in. We're going to call this guy Soren because, surprise, that's who I am. And he's a builder. We're probably going to get a lot of our money from uh, visitors. We have the hospitality mod unlocked, so we're going to want multiple guest beds. <laughs> Let's check out the map. Already I see a beautiful rich soil patch here. We have a king cobra that we're going to need to kill, but this is a great defensive position that we can start out in. Uh, that being said, we start out with nothing, so we need to find berries. It's always the first thing. We want him to deal with patient stuff first. Um, we can't have him. He's not an artist, so that's going to be a problem actually, but maybe we'll get a second guy in here that does the art. Right now he's going to be able to make a lot of uh, a lot of bricks. And he has a passion for art, it'll just take him a while to get up. He has low plants, so maybe that'll be a problem. Yeah, you pick those berries. Okay, so let's head down this way. Make a small grow zone in the rich soil. Cut some trees. The, trees, the tree cutting is actually going to improve his, his uh, plant skill quite a bit. And then we're gonna need. Let's see. Like all playthroughs, you need a you need a uh, sleeping spot to start because they're idiots. Let's put a stockpile zone right here. And we're running several mods that affect like item stack things like that. So he'll be able to do a lot of that. Um, okay. So for these first parts, we're just gonna collect berries. Right now he's holding 22 berries, so that's two meals worth. Which seems pretty good for now. And it's looking like this cobra really wants to be near us. And that's upsetting. We're going to need to be able to kill it as soon as possible. How is its hunger is fine at the moment that I can tell. I hope it goes after one of these rhinos instead. We're not really going to have the resources needed to start this very efficiently. Maybe a club. Do a club. Or even a bow. Let's do a bow. Unless his, his melee is higher. Okay, so actually we will make a... Uh, yeah, a club. I'd say a knife, but we don't have the metal for it right now. We could go mine it. Actually, yeah, let's do that. I don't know how well he's going to do manual labor. It'll allow us to kill maybe one of these boars and cook it. As soon as you're done with that tree, Soren. I'm sorry, man. We gotta protect ourselves before we can watch the clouds. Okay, and then we're actually gonna want... Now that I think about it, we're gonna want a short bow for hunting. Because I do not have the mod designated for uh, melees can hunt. I guess we could turn it on right now. That would be fine. So let's kill one of these boars and hope that it doesn't revenge. I see. All right. So the boar did not die, but uh, we did wound it to the point where it's going to die. So while he gets his, his recreation up and it settles in for the night, we can wait for this boar to die. Oh, it's left kidney got, got destroyed. Sad day. Yeah, I know you're starving, bud. Ooh, level one in plants, perfect. Okay, and then we set this to butcher, and then we can butcher the animal. We need to make a fire. Naked Brutality is just a completely different game, honestly. Like the level of patience you have to have is surreal. Come on, man, make your meals. Excellent. Oh, don't, no, stop, cook, cook the meal, man. Come on, there you go. Now we have enough food for the day, the next day. Relaxing socially, nice. This rat can be butchered, and we can tame an or try to kill another uh, another boar. As for the rest of the house, we will be doing. Is this marshy? No, no, it's not. What is this? It is marshy. We just can't. We can build on it. Ah, yeah. See, there you go. So obviously we're a little cramped. We're gonna work on that. 
shortly, but we need a we need a base where he can just be safe. We're going to upgrade this to a steel trap because we have steel over here that we can mine pretty efficiently and uh, it, we need our wood for other other things like keeping up the fire. Now, is there a reason he's not planting? I guess just a matter of Oh, he doesn't have growing turned on. That would be why. So that's I'm glad I checked that cuz cuz planting is important. I'm just impressed that we made a good level a good quality bow. I was not expecting good things this early on. And it looks like our cobra friend left. So that's really considerate of him. How much Uh oh, we have a mad rat coming. Yikes. Not ideal. Uh we need to set him to attack because if he flees, we get nothing done. Wow, okay, so tribal wear actually takes 60 fabric. That's unfortunate. That means we're just gonna need, we're gonna need a lot of uh, cotton more than likely. Oh no, it went right over. Uh-oh. Luckily, it's just a rat. Another thing that would be good to look for is heel root that's already grown. A lot of these maps do, in fact, have heel root. I don't know if this one in particular does, but uh, having heel root early on is very rewarding. Doesn't look like we have any. That sucks. Something I wanted to showcase, oh actually I don't think I have any of them turned on, never mind. Oh, uh, with the hospitality mod, you also have the guest UI element, which is kind of cool. And we also have storage upgraded, which is pretty cool. You can get food baskets so that things don't stand, like aren't sitting, which is a, a really big deal actually. Like when you have, interesting, actually I don't have the, the shelves one. Huh, okay, let's butcher this because we're going to start getting really hungry. And probably hunt another one of these. His uh, shooting's already level two. Cool. We got our second kill. We need a wrist break. What's going on, man? What's going on? Ravenously hungry. Yeah, that would that would do it. I think he just ate raw meat, and I told him not to. Hmm. This might not be the best spot to have this now. Oh, that's the problem. I set it to do until you do three times, as opposed to do until you have three. That's a big difference. Oh, and our blight. This is another one of the mods we have open is auto cut blight, which is just like one of the biggest quality of life changes to the base game. I'm glad that we have so many boar. The boar are going to make it to where we can sustain ourselves a little longer. Having extra meat is always a plus. We probably want to, well, he needs to eat. Once he, once he rests up and eats, we're going to put him on mining duty to get those spike traps done. Okay, he's about to wake up. It's morning, and he ate. All right, so let's go mine these, because Cassandra is going to be sending us something soon. All right, so the steel traps should be able to be built now, which is going to be a huge relief. Yeah, and then if he plants these, this rice, we should be on our way to getting more food. We need to go hunting later. We should probably do that now, actually. And we're getting a raid. Perfect. We've got Jet with a knife. Where is she? Let's uh, head on up to say hello. We have gold ore right here. That's something to keep in mind for later. Our first raid. Now we got her pretty good with our bow. <clears throat> Excellent. So now something we can try to do. Let's see if she's any good. Uh, she has a burning passion for art and intellect. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we, well, we don't really have a place to put her. So that's actually unfortunate. I think we have to kill her. That sucks, but it's okay. Uh, we made it out alive and I would say not even a scratch, but we do have a bite. Or no, we have a bruise. So yeah, not even a scratch. Excellent, excellent. What, what's wrong? What's wrong? Observed a corpse. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you kill someone. And a boar should have died. It's unconscious. Dying in three hours. Okay. Can we finish it off? And then we need to butcher it so that we can have food for tomorrow we're not even something that you're going to want to do especially in naked brutality is just switch everything to anything because if he decides to go to sleep and doesn't need to you're wasting valuable time that could be spent i don't know feeding yourself or surviving and we, we really just can't afford for things to not be taken care of okay so like now we have three meals well, two actually. I think he has one in his inventory. Yeah, and that's actually a good way to be. These uh, take four days to spoil, so having three of them at any time means that they won't spoil, and you'll just have them lying around. And just like that, our first raid was uh, successful. Conquest. The Sharp Fiends has lost Vacuum Gorge. Uh-oh, cool. We have another mod, the Dynamic uh, Diplomacy mod, which adds a lot of, as you could probably imagine, some dynamic diplomacy where other factions will actually interact with each other. So like in that case, they were fighting against, or they were fighting over land, 
And uh, yeah, they one of them beat the other one. We need rice, please. So obviously the first video of this is going to be a little slower because we're setting up. But soon, soon, Soren is going to be a brick-laying machine. I forgot to mention the Mint minimap up in the top right is one of the best, one of the best mods, quality of life mods I can ever tell you guys about. It changes the game. It turns out when you put a guy naked, or a woman in this case, sorry, a woman naked in the wilderness and tell her to hunt pigs and sow rice for three days, she actually uh, starts feeling a little off. I wouldn't have guessed that, but now we're just going in a sad wander until she passes out from mal malnutrition. On a positive note through all of this, she does have food. She has food on her person, I believe, and a food in storage, so she's not going to go hungry, luckily. I've had colonies die of hunger on naked brutality simply because they break and forget to make food. Very real problem. But you always want your guys to be on top of uh, making food. Now we have a transport pod crash, and they're actually pretty close. They're offering us a lot of people with artistic abilities, which is kind of cool. The main issue is that we don't have control of Soren. <laughs> Our main character is not in a position to help you, and you're probably going to die because of it. And just like that, I think she ended up eating the food on the ground, yeah. So that's good. And it's looking like we aren't going to make it to her. Unfortunate. I would have loved an artist. Something that I think would also be an interesting thing is trying to tile every square on the map when what that would take <laughs> you'd have to mine everything out you'd have to get enough stone to do it layer it the whole thing put up mining supports where you need to i don't know i think it would be an interesting end game goal to try and do that we'll see we'll see how see how things play out with this one. Oh, this is supposed to be cotton this is not supposed to be potato sorry soren and you're gonna start being hungry soon so we probably need to pick these berries which hopefully you will do before other stuff. Actually, don't even worry about the cotton. I do like the fact that they made it to where berries do not get consumed when you harvest them. Before, like if you went to a berry bush and, and just harvested it, the berry bush would disappear. So now it's set up to where the bush will just go dormant, which allows you to, which allows you to do a lot more with berry bushes. The berry bushes basically become a sustainable source of food. I am a little sad that you can't take the berry bushes and replant them somewhere. I think that would be a nice touch. And how's that going for you? Socially relaxing with yourself? Looks like it's going all right. Yeah, I think that's what our goal is going to be. We're going to we're going to try and survive as long as we can and basically just try to tile everything on the map. There's a mod that allows you to build outside of the normal a normal line so we'll have to install that but yeah i think that would be interesting there'll be a lot of peril a lot of raids a lot of love and murder and excitement but all in the name of paving rimwald <laughs> we'll see how that goes as for me i think i'm gonna sign off today or next time we will uh finish off this little base we want to make a bed that's actually reasonable for him we're probably gonna make a much more structured area over here for crafting. This is a little cramped. I just wanted to make sure we could start things off without having to like die to a mad animal, which we actually thwarted quite well. Uh, the rat was barely even a challenge. And then the first raid, we kicked ass. So two shooting, we were at zero. So he's, he's actually grown quite a bit in that route. He does have a passion for it and for melee and for construction. Honestly, we might just, we, one of the ways we can kind of prepare ourselves and sustain ourselves is by using this, the hospitality mod to make really nice really nice like hotel style places so yeah i hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching and stay edgy my friends goodbye